If you look at our focus, and if you look at the dialogue that we've had so far, and where it looks like it's leading us, uh, we have 10 different things that are now emerging as priorities for the School of Science, Engineering, and Technology. First of all is the visibility issue. Uh, we want to make sure that SET and STEM excellence are synonymous here in San Antonio and beyond. We want to make sure that uh, you know we are closely tied to our constituencies. The whole idea over here is that we need to have our finger on the pulse of that external environment so that we are proactive in our thinking and in our strategy to the changing needs of our region. Um, we are focusing and will be focusing heavily on recruitment and retention. The whole idea over here is we want to attract and retain and graduate a strong, viable group of students. Uh, fundraising is going to be high on our list. Uh, we have a lot of need. Scholarships for our students, equipment and labs, new equipment in some cases, and uh, definitely new facilities for the School of Science, Engineering, and Technology. So fundraising is going to be a major focus um, of my time over here at St. Mary's. You know, I talked a little bit about the STEM challenge. We need to look at our existing programs. A while ago, as we spoke, I talked about strong, stable, mature programs with a uh, stellar group of alumni. But we can't just rest on our laurels. We need to make sure that our programs are constantly evaluated so that they continue to be current, competitive, and responsive to the needs of the outside. In addition to looking at our existing programs, we need to make sure that we are also looking at new programs that address the needs of our constituencies and uh, address the needs of this region. So uh, we need to be constantly uh, you know, polling and uh, looking around and uh, developing uh, programs and initiatives that advance our school. Uh, good examples of these are uh, the forensic science programs that uh, came about. And uh, in conversations with my colleagues, I'm hearing um, a desire to move us ahead in several other areas as well. Another area of focus for us is uh, faculty and student research. Uh, the theme over here is going to be faculty and student research that allows us to develop these uh, areas of excellence. And uh, these then can add value to the community at large. Uh, we are seeing some of these in the Semeriville, uh, you know, seminar series where some young people and their professors are uh, disseminating the results of some uh, really neat research. Um, Personal favorite of mine, outreach to middle and high school students. I've been doing this for about 20 years now. And if you're looking at making an impact on the STEM pipeline, you've got to go back, way back, and reach out to these students at the elementary, middle, and high school levels so that that uh, pipeline into STEM programs is maintained and grown. So uh, we have a lot of good things going on with the prep program, with the Fiesta Physics program, uh, with uh, you know Nerds Night Out and things of that nature. What we'd like to see happen in SET is a buzz with a lot of students doing a lot of different things with all of our departments and programs involved. Um, I'd like to see more happening by way of international programs and activities. And for us, this means things like faculty and student exchanges. This means articulation programs. Uh, this might take the form of faculty-led short tours, uh, executive education, the recruitment of international graduate students into our programs. And what this does for us is it sets SET on the global stage. Um, I cannot emphasize this enough. One of a our biggest focus areas is going to be the planning and uh, the fundraising for new facilities for SET. Uh, we have three buildings right now. We are based out of Richter, Moody, and Garney. And uh, these facilities, while good and while serviceable, are clearly showing their age. And um, at some point in time, for us to remain competitive and for us to attract the brightest and the best, we need to have not only the programs and the faculty, we also need to have the infrastructure that assures success for our students. I think first off, anybody that has supported St. Mary's University, anyone who has supported the School of Science, Engineering and Technology, whether it's through funding, whether it's through time contributed, you have my deepest thanks. 
uh, we cannot do what we do without the generosity of uh, people who support us. Mm -hmm.